It's time now for our Zayo Connection. We are joined by Tad Boyle, now the old-time winningest coach at the University of Colorado. Hey, not bad for a former financial analyst or whatever the heck you were doing in that other <laughs> yeah, life, Yeah, whatever huh? I was doing, yeah, yeah. no doubt. That, you didn't know where that was uh, going to lead when I got into it, but I'm sure glad it's, it's led me out of Boulder. Uh, coach, college coaching led me out of Boulder because I was doing that in Boulder, and now coaching's brought me all the way back to Boulder, you know, 12 and a half years ago. So I'm home. I'm home. All right, to touch on tonight, Coach, first of yeah. all, congratulations. Um, watching your practice yesterday and your shoot around this morning, the focus was on your defensive end, yeah. especially having to go small. What did you think right. of them, especially on Jones? Well, uh, we did a great job on Jones. I thought Tristan was terrific. You know, he banked one in uh, from, from the three in the first half. We don't, we don't worry about those, but he did a, he, we made him work for everything. We fouled him you know, late. You don't want to foul three-point shooters, as you know. Like, but we we uh, we didn't play real smart down the stretch. But I thought, you know, the the big thing at halftime, uh, three the three point shot in college basketball is a great equalizer. We played pretty good defense in the first half. We held them to like 38, 39 percent, but they hit seven threes. And so you got to guard the three point line, and you've got to be rock solid in your uh, in your coverages. We started switching ball screens in the second half, and and just trying to say, okay, we're gonna try to keep the ball out of the paint and guard threes because switching ball screens hopefully takes away you know, pick and pops and rotation. So uh, we did a good job. I haven't even looked at the stat sheet, but I, I just I just know that was a good win. We didn't finish the way we need to finish. We got to shoot. We have to shoot free throws better. I think our fans know that. Our players know that because if, if we're in close games, it's going to come down to free throws at some point. We're going to work, and, and we're capable. I know that. That we're a capable team. We just didn't get it done tonight. Yeah, and the irony is, you were one of the best uh, free throw shooting teams in the history of college basketball. I know, two very years recently. Ago. Yeah, and then last year we were pretty darn good. We were 76 percent. So. You know, we've got a, that's that's an individual thing and, and uh, no time like the present to get better at it. we got break, we don't have school. It's time to time to get in the gym. Got to ask you one more uh, on this being a historic night. And, I, and yep. I know you've always done this with great humility and, and I'm probably embarrassed by the attention tonight, quite frankly. Yeah. But it was moving for me, so I, gosh knows what it was like for you when all of your, not only colleagues in the profession, Mark Few and, and Leon Rice yeah. sound off, but so many of the players that you've coached took time from all over the world yes. to, to reach out. That had to be particularly moving. Yeah, it really was, Drew. I mean, it's uh, when you're a coach, it's all about your players. It's about your, your current players, but it's really about your former players. And, you know, w I tied the record. We tied the record uh, a few nights ago against Northern Colorado. I, I had five former players from Northern Colorado here, and, and I got emotional because uh, of them and because uh, I know where we started there. And so to see those guys on the board and, and, uh, and uh, listen to their kind words, it was really, really touching. And, and uh, I got to get a copy of that video because I'll keep it. And uh, it, it means a lot because it's all about your former players. Well, Tad, uh, I, I know I can do this one time, speak for everyone in Pac-12 country. Congratulations on, on this night. We know there's a, a great number of W's for you and your program uh, heading forward and, and continued success this year and continued success this month. Yeah, thank you, guys. Yeah, we still got work to do. We've got 18 league games ahead of us. It's a gauntlet, and we didn't get out of the shoot very well in December in league play. So uh, appreciate your kind words. You got it. Congratulations, Tad Boyle now, the all-time winningest coach at the University of Colorado. They defeat Southern Utah tonight, 86-78.